All right, guys. Uh, a lot of you guys requested this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this video for you guys. Uh, durability test um, on all the chromes. So I'm going to do durability with the Allclad and with this new Gaia Premium Mirror Chrome that I just got and tested. Um, I aqua glossed one of the chrome spoons. I did a second chrome spoon. Um, for the Gaia and aqua glossed it. So this one's got the aqua gloss on it. It's slightly duller. This is it without. You can almost see my face there. So aqua and without. You can probably tell on the camera. It's a little nicer without it. But we'll see. If the durability is good, then you don't need it. But I wanted to match aqua gloss for both. And um, anyway. I let it sit so you can see the difference now. All clad. The Gaia. Um, the Gaia does look slightly nicer. I, I, I've buffed this thing, this this uh, all clad. I've, I've put it in my pocket and I've shown people in my travels. You know, so It's been around. So to, to say a durability test, you could say it's been through a little bit of a durability test because I've been traveling with the damn thing. But this is the Gaia and this is the all clad. I mean, they're close. $30, $20 difference? Uh, no, but the Gaia Notes is nicer. I, I will, as much as I like all clad, it, it's a little bit nicer. And this is it. Black chrome. Um, all clad. And this is the Gaia. I mean, it's a totally different thing. Now, let's try the Gaia over the dark blue that I have. That's yeah, completely different, too. Now... The other two that do look good for all clad against them is this polished aluminum. Let's see. It's right there. Look at how few pigment there really is in this. Can you see it? There's no, It's a clear liquid. This is... I'll show you the bottom. That's it. That's all the pigment in this. Right? Watch. Would you shake it a little bit? And it, see it? So that's all it took to make this beautiful polished aluminum spoon. This was over black. But I aqua gloss this. Now this looks good with aqua gloss. All right. Here is aqua gloss. Gaia. Gaia Chrome. And here is uh, the polished aluminum with aqua gloss. All clad. Pretty close. And this isn't even chrome. This is just polished aluminum, I think. Yeah. All right. There's the comparisons. And this is uh, Air High Shine Aluminum with Aqua Gloss. So these two have Aqua Gloss. These don't from All Clad. This one's Aqua Glossed. These are not. All right. So let's go ahead with a durability test. And um, we'll start with All Clad. We're going to uh, start with the masking tape. Tamiya, Tamiya masking tape. Just take a piece. It's on there pretty good. I'll, be, I'll push it as hard as I can. There we go. All right, that's on there. Yeah. All right. No, no. I'll let that sit. Let's do one on the Gaia. Same thing. It sucked this baby right on there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. No, oh, look at this. It took a little off. See it? However, it kind of looks better. It kind of took that powdery coating off. Can you see the line? Look at that. Let's see. However, it didn't peel it off. It stood, withstood the durability. Let's, uh... I'm going to try and take the other end of it. It seems like it, it took... Maybe that's where these come in. I'm going to have to read up on these. Because I don't think you use these on the chrome. The, these new polishing cloths of theirs. I believe they're for the metals. And not the, the chrome. But maybe if it's not. Maybe if it's for the chrome. Maybe it will buff out. That'll be another video. I just got those in. i got to learn how to use them. Well, it doesn't peel it off. But it does take a shine with it. Can you see it? 
this might be extra black paint on the edge of the spoon. I can see the outline of the spoon, but you can see the shine right there. However, let me rub it. It, it, would, it withstood. It really didn't peel it off. So it, it withstood that. All right, let's try one more item. And that's my fingernail. All right, let me guess so you guys can see it. My fingernails are pretty good. All right. Well, I marked it up, but that could just be my skin. I I scratched this as good as I could. All right. Let's buff it up. See, I'm using my shirt so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And see if we can get all that marks out of it. Nah, uh, I can see the marks. I don't know if I'm taking it out. It's not harming it. But I can see the black is coming through. So it is uh, it is wiping off. Uh, it withstood the tape, but not the scratching. Where I go to buff it off. And that could be me just rubbing it off. However, Aqua Gloss. Let's try this. Alright. Now this is over the Aqua Gloss, which is technically floor polish all right that's on there pretty good all right let's see what we get no no this is perfect there's nothing on the tape at all and it's totally protected I don't even see the line so I think this requires an aqua gloss if you're going to handle it. I think, again, if you're spraying a, a P51 or whatever, an old plane in, in this chrome or shiny stuff, uh, any of these shiny metals, and you're going to leave it on the shelf or on the glass, yeah, I wouldn't go nuts. You're not going to handle it anyway. But if you're going to do a frame on a Gundam or something, you're going to want to go with the aqua gloss. So let's try to scratch test aqua gloss over all clad. <laughs> I'm trying to get my good fingernails here. <sighs> Nothing. It's impervious to, to any anything. This is perfect. So all clad, coated with the aqua gloss, perfect. And this is uh this is a few days I let this dry. And it's it, it it's perfect. So this is the perfect way to go. All clad with their aqua gloss. By the way, here's the aqua gloss. I think it was six bucks. Look at that. Six bucks. Can't beat it. Oh, by the way, guys, um, let me show you something. Uh, this came from Walmart, and uh, it's the same stuff. And um, it's got that milky look to it. It looks just like this. If I filled up the jar, I believe it's the same damn thing. I also have... Hold on one second. Here it is. Sorry, guys, I'm across the room. I left the camera. There you go. This is a, another one from Walmart. This is a pledge. Same thing. You put it straight in. You you, you blast it. You you want a good size needle, probably a .5 needle, and then just clear it out with water and some uh, Windex. It'll clean out your, your your airbrush. This was also at Walmart. It's like four dollars or five bucks. I think it's the same stuff. But this being so cheap, I'd go for it. You know, stick with all the brand. But look at it. It's perfect. However, let's see if Gaia even needs it. Right. Let's try it. Here we go. This is the chrome spoon. Tape on it. Here we go. Oh, now see this took something off too. A lot off. Look. So it took a lot off. It's even coming off with my fingers. I can see it. Look at that. That's from scratching, I think, the other one. So that ain't great. That's not great. It's not as noticeable. But I can't see the line where it took it off, you know. However, it looks perfect, whereas this one, you could see the black coming through. So let's go ahead and fingernail this. This is, uh, this is the, the chrome with no aqua gloss. Now it's coming right off. Now, we're going to scratch the other side where I didn't put the 
tape. Maybe I took some of the protection off it. This scratched worse than this. Look at the scratches on that. This just came down to the paint. All right, let's try this side. Here we go. No, it marks up easy. Real easy. So it looked better, but it marked up even, even I even think a little bit easier. So that's not good. Durability wise at all. That's the Gaia. Um, you know, let's try this one straight up before I put tape on. Yeah, this, this seems a little sturdy. I think the tape, no, nah, it's, it's doing the same thing. It's marking up kind of easy. Same thing. Now, this is why we went with the Aqua Gloss over the Gaia. However, it doesn't look as good as this once you get the Aqua Gloss over it. You, you can't win. Whereas this one looks pretty good. This high shine, the polished aluminum, this came out good. Probably because it works good because it's own product, working with its own product, right? Here we go. This is, uh, hold on, another piece of tape. This is the Aqua Gloss. Start this on there. All right. Ah. All right. No, it's just like the other one. The Aqua Gloss seems to completely protect it. Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, this is probably going to be fruitless, but let's try it. <coughs> I'll wreck my fingernails. Nothing. Zero. Um, the conclusion is they both look like they both need aqua gloss. I mean, there's not a mark on this. This is the Gaia. This is the all clad. They're both perfect with the the aqua gloss so I think it's gonna need the aqua gloss on both if you plan on handling it personally if you're gonna put it on the shelf and not touch the damn thing I'd spray it straight up you know I mean look how beautiful this stuff is with nothing on it it's just beautiful this is airframe aluminum that's this one again with the barely any pigment in it look at that so here is this is the black chrome let's try and scratch it yeah, it's marking it up. Now, I'm, let's see if we can polish it out quick. No, not really. It needs to be protected. It, it needs to be protected. This stuff is like, it seals it in like a vault, this stuff. That's the way to go. Now, I will read into these, maybe these polishing cloths, and you do maybe maybe two coats. Let it sit, do a, two, a double coat. Maybe it'll harden itself better. I, I don't even, This didn't even come with instructions, so I got to see... If there's a certain way, because this all clad is a whole different beast from regular paint. But that's it, guys. There's the conclusion. Um, that's it. Without it, scratch test and tape test. It failed both. Worse than, than the all clad. The all clad is just, uh, just buffing through. I, this is a light coat, so I, I ended up going down to the black. But still, this came out worse. You can just see the gouge mark. You can feel it. Just the gouge marks right through it. You know, and they both did it. This was over the, the gray. The gray spoon. Yeah, it's just marking it up. It's hard to see the gray. That's why I didn't bother. A little bit of lines. It's a mess. It's a mess. But this is the way to go. Um, you want to handle them. You want to take a little bit of a beating. You want to do a frame on your Gundam with chrome. It's got to be aqua glossed. And don't forget, if you're doing a frame, particularly a, a high grade, the, it's going to be smaller. It's going to look shinier because you're going to have a small. This is a wide area, these spoons, you know. So you, you, you can see the dullness a little bit. When you put the aqua gloss, none on that. This one has some. So, uh, but when you shrink it down to the size like that kneecap, because that's the frame, you, you're not going to see it. So I would go ahead and, uh, if you're going to do a, a frame, I would do it, and I would all aqua gloss with the all clad aqua gloss over it. But that's the conclusion. Failed the scratch. Failed uh, finger uh, tape. Failed tape. Failed the scratch test. Both passed, both with Aqua Gloss. This is the way to go. And I've done a few things with this Aqua Gloss, and look how much I've used. Barely any. You don't thin it. You don't even shake it. Warning, don't shake. <laughs> so that's it. And you clean your airbrush with hot water. I use hot water when I blast it out. And uh, that's it. That's it. That's the answers, right? Aqua Gloss, the way to go on either one. And at that point, you can probably buy this and the uh, black chrome, the regular chrome, 
I bet you could even get one or two more of these for this for the price of this. So that might be the way to go. You know, you're gonna get more for your money at that point. So, but that's it, guys. I got a, another test coming up. Um, I got a whole bunch of new paints. I got this aluminum metalizer, AK in the spray can. And check out these. Uh, check this out. I got a whole lineup of these metal coats from uh, from Humbrol. Look at this polished steel. Uh, what do we got on this one? Aluminum. Look at this chrome, chrome in the can. So we're gonna have to test that. And I have a ton more, a ton more. Look at this, a gold, a black gloss base, a metal coat, polished aluminum. So I can't wait to try the and try these. And they dry in minutes. They're supposedly terrific. So that's gonna be another thing we're gonna test. And I got this new stuff, needle juice, for the for the airbrush. You're supposed to coat the needle in the parts, and, it, and it's supposed to run smooth for uh, a long time between cleanings. We'll be testing that, too. And uh, I got a whole ton of stuff. Oh, check this out. Look at this. All, I got all the new Super Metallics that I could get that I didn't have in my collection. All these. So I'll be testing them soon, too. So, a bunch of stuff coming our way. Wait till you see this. Look at this. My... Uh, MRP, dark aluminum. Look at these paints. Titanium, burnt metal violet. Look at that. Chrome, more chrome from uh, MRP, Mr. Paint. These are acrylic lacquers. Super clear, matte. Look at this. Steel. I got all kinds of metalized paints from this company. Burnt iron, super silver. This is going to be an incredible shootout when I do these. That's nothing, guys. Look at this. Check this out. Another box. <laughs> oh, even more colors. Super matte black. Uh, gold. Copper. Graphite. Look at this. Graphite. What a great color. This is a two-process. Uh, it's such. It's a two-process, so it comes in one box. It's a light orange. You put one down first, then you put the other. It's a pearlized orange. So we're going to be testing all these pretty soon. And I got a bunch of splash paints coming in, too. So that was a quick one. To conclude uh, our uh, chrome <laughs> durability test, I went off on a tyrant there. Anyway, uh, Aqua Gloss over either one is the way to go. That's the conclusion. Any questions, again, uh, right below. Subscribe because i got tons more tests coming up. And I'm going to try to do a minimum of one a week. I might have to do two a week to, just to keep up. You've seen all the stuff i got over there. And um, uh, that's it for now, guys. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the, the testing on these chromes. I have, too. They've, they've, they've uh, been invaluable for me, so I know my next step of what I'm going to do in my next kit build. But uh, that's it. There's the conclusion. I'll talk to you guys soon, and have a great day.